Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here with a more in-depth tutorial video to show you how to get your pre-made videos onto your live events once they're ranking using Wirecast. Now, Wirecast is a free software that you can download and use to do that very thing. Now, one thing that you do need to understand is, is that Wirecast is not our software. It's a free software that we use to get our pre-made videos or stream live to our live event once they're ranking. So we can't really provide any technical support if you're having trouble installing Wirecast. That is something that they'll be able to help you with. Uh, but for the most part, everyone has been able to install Wirecast uh, without a problem. Uh, the thing that some people are running into is getting their pre-made video loaded onto their uh, live event. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Now, another thing that I want to touch on as well is to make sure that you play around with uh, Wirecast on some test campaigns before you you uh, try it out on live campaigns because uh, the last thing you want to do is have a live event ranking and, and screw up the process of getting your pre-made video onto your live event. So my recommendation is create five, you know, six, seven test campaigns, get the hang of Wirecast and then use it on your live events because it will take you a few times to get the hang of it. There is a small learning curve with Wirecast. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to come in here and quickly upload your pre-made videos to your uh, live event. So uh, the first thing you're going to do, of course, is fire up Wirecast. Now, another uh, cool thing is that they do have tutorials. Now, every time you fire up Wirecast, they'll ask you if you want to go through the tutorials or if you just want to continue to use the software. So if it's uh, your first time, you're just getting used to Wirecast, go through their tutorials as well after you're done watching this video and we'll link to all of their information and their tutorial videos below this video as well uh, but the first thing you're going to do is connect your wire uh, wirecast to your youtube account so up here uh, you may not see it but it says output or you can also click on stream and it should open up uh, the option for you to connect to your youtube account uh, so you can either do it by clicking stream or by clicking output up here at the top and clicking output settings either way you'll be able to connect to your youtube account click on authenticate now either you're going to be logged in or uh, logged out so if you're logged in you'll be able to just quickly select which uh, youtube account you want to use uh, which channel you want to use if you're not logged in you'll be taken to the login page any normal google login page you'll enter your email your password and then you'll be taken to this page so i'm just going to select this account here uh, as an example okay and this is going to connect to my uh, live events here and all of my live events that are available for me to stream onto will show up uh, right here on this drop down i just have one uh, live event here on this account right now uh, so i'm going to go ahead and leave that as is i'm going to go ahead and click ok then i'm going to head back to my uh, live event now this is the live event here uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click the live control room and you can see right now it says we are not receiving data from your encoder. Now the encoder is Wirecast. Wirecast is known as an encoder. So if I click on stream, let me move this over here to the right a little bit. If I click on stream, you're going to see that this is now, as soon as I click stream, this is going to change from being non-clickable to actually being clickable. All right, boom. There you can see now that means that my uh, Wirecast is now connected to my preview uh, to my uh, live event okay now that i'm able to preview it so if i click on preview okay and i come back here i can select my this here now i'm going to click i'm going to click on here because i'm getting some feedback since i'm using my microphone uh, but i'm going to click on this blank shot and you can see there that now it's available to start streaming as well because it's picked up my live event so if i click on preview here you'll see that first it starts off with a blank screen and you can see there boom it switched over it switched over to that split second of preview that i clicked on that um on this screen here now here's where the very important part happens okay uh, i'm going to go ahead and upload my pre-made video uh, but you do not want to click on it until you're ready to stream because if you click on it, it's going to be, it's going to restart, it's going to start from wherever you, you 
you stopped watching it. So um, I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. So I'm just going to upload a um, an example video that I have here on my desktop. Click open. All right. And I don't want to, you do not want to click on this until you're ready to actually stream it. Okay. Because if you click on it and then I unclick on it, like I did with this, if I go to click back on it and then I click start stream, it's going to start from where it start where it stopped last. It's not going to start from the beginning. Okay. So another thing that you can add here as well is images. So if you want to have a, th a thumbnail at the start of your, of your uh, video, you can click on that for a few seconds and then click on the live event. And then the beginning of your video will be an image and then you'll, you'll go right into the video that you want to stream. Okay. So, uh, here it seems like my internet is acting up a bit, so you can see it went from good to okay, but uh, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as is. Uh, now that I'm ready to stream, I'm ready to stream this live video, I'm going to go ahead and click start stream. I'm going to come over here, click on this, and let me go ahead and just remove this one here for now. Uh, delete shot there okay so I'm gonna leave it here now the only option for me to click on is here once I'm ready to stream okay so that's what I'm exactly what I'm doing I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna unclick this here okay I'm gonna click start streaming come over here and you can see I'm, I'm streaming now and I'm gonna click on this now once this video is done I'm going to click stop streaming so that the, I can get the entire video from start to finish. Okay. So I, this video is about, uh, I think 90 seconds or two minutes long. So once this video is done, I can click stop streaming and that's it. My video will be on that live stream. Okay. I'm, I think this video might be about two or three minutes long, so I'm not going to stream the whole thing. So, I'm, so for example, let's say this video is done. Boom. It's done. I'm ready to finish. I'm going to come here, hit stop streaming, hit OK, and come back in here and disconnect the Wirecast. All right. And that's it. Now, let me pause this video as well because it's playing in my headphones. Okay. Now that I stopped the stream, my video that I just streamed is now going to play here. All right, boom. And you can see there, it started right at the beginning of the video and it's going to go, you know, assuming that I played the whole thing, but I think this video is actually about three minutes long. So I don't want to just sit, you, have you guys sit through a three minute long video. Um, but that's it. That's as simple as it is to use Wirecast to connect to your streams and upload a pre-made video but one thing to remember is do not click on the video that you want to stream until you're ready to stream because if you do you're gonna to have to close this out and start all over again because uh, it's not gonna start from the beginning okay uh, but that's it it's that simple to get your uh, videos uploaded to your live events okay guys and again if you're having trouble uh, figuring this out then just go ahead and play with Wirecast a few times, watch this video a few times, go through their tutorials a few times, and, and just, just spend the time to learn how to use Wirecast because uh, you know some of you are getting a little bit impatient. You come in here, you screw up once, and you get frustrated. Do not let that happen to you. Uh, you know, you might get frustrated a couple of times, but use it, you know, um, put it to use, practice with it, use it three, four, five times. And the more you use it, the easier it's going to become. And you're going to be able to come in here and start doing it within 20 to 30 seconds once you get the hang of it. So uh, use this on test campaigns, follow this, um, this tutorial video, create three, four, five, six test campaigns and go through this process. And I guarantee you that you will get the hang of it and be able to easily get your pre-made videos onto your uh, live event. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully this video helps to clear out uh, the issues with Wirecast a little bit better.